for the last but not least, we have Aries. We're going to pull some energy for the zodiac sign Aries. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to. This could be someone you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so what do we have for Aries? The Empress is here. So this is your energy. You're someone that is um, very mature. You're someone that's stable, very abundant as well. And you're manifesting whatever it is that you want out of life. As you stand in your own energy, you have control of the energy that you walk in, the energy that you put out, the energy that you allow around you. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. Somebody wants to take action towards you or they want to come towards you. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. They want to communicate with you. And then Queen of Pentacles. So they want to communicate with you because this person wants to, um, they look at you as someone that works very hard. You're someone that is very caring, kind-hearted. And you're um, very stable. This person could, you know, look at you as someone that's very honest, trustworthy, and they want to be in a commitment with you. That's why they want to take action towards you. The unknown card is here. This could be someone that you don't, um, you didn't know this. Yeah, King of Wands is here. This is someone who has a lot of attraction for you. Um, they want to come towards you. They have a lot of passion for you. And this person is someone that is standing up leading their own life. They're taking action towards whatever it is that they want out of life. And they want to have a, um, they want to start over with you. Um, this person could have also gotten spiritually woke. King of Wands. Knight of Swords and King of Cups. Yeah, they want to run in quick towards you. They're in love with you. Somebody could be pissed off and mad because this person is in love with you. Or they're in this King of Cups energy with you. Yeah, temperance is here. They want to balance something out with you. They just want to dash quick towards you. They look at you as their equal. This person wants equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. They could want to give you something. Yeah, the moon card is here. And then the emperor is here. <laughs> So yeah, this person is your equal and this could have been something that was hidden in plain sight. You didn't know that this person was your divine counterpart. They possibly didn't know you were their divine counterpart. And then nine of pentacles is here. And three of swords. So yeah, Nine of Pentacles is here. This could be you in this Nine of Pentacles or somebody that they separated their self from is um, depressed. They're going through heartache because this person is at the Nine of Pentacles, single, self-sufficient, and um, they're abundant. They can stand on their own two feet. This is someone that is stable. They have stability. And somebody could be heartbroken, depressed because this person separated their self from them. Yeah, Four of Swords is here. They laid a situation to rest. This is someone they needed to isolate their self from, cleanse their self. Yeah. Page of Swords is here. It's like this person have been stalking on this person ever since they isolated their self from them and laid the situation to rest. They've been watching them, observing them. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. Yeah, so it's like this person is watching you as wish fulfillment. You make this person happy. 
and whoever this person is, is heartbroken. They could have did something in secret to this person. So this person would not know that you and them were divine counterparts. But this person ended up getting woke and they didn't know. This person is in love with you. Yeah, they found out the truth, Ace of Swords, Clarity. They've gained truth and clarity. Yeah, Four of Wands <laughs> and Seven of Swords. Yeah, they found out you were their twin. A lot of people were at the Seven of Swords being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. And they could have tried to set you and this person up. They were trying to strategize against you and this person. So y'all wouldn't know that y'all were twins. But this person ended up finding out the truth. And they could be trying to strategize how can they come in union with you after finding out the truth. Yeah, this person have been holding on to you four pinnacles this year. And they've been holding back from other people after finding out the truth. And those people are at the three of swords heartbroken. They're stressed out. Yeah, because they were trying to sabotage the connection. They're envious of you and this person coming in union. Five of swords, they're jealous of the connection. These are people that defeated their self trying to hold on to this person. Yeah, but this person is moving forward. The chariot is here. Away from people that were envious and jealous of this connection. And they were trying to slow this person down, distract this person, so they wouldn't be able to move properly. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles is here. And King of Pentacles, yeah, this person is coming towards you because they want to start over with you. This person wants to give you a solid offer of commitment. They want to get married to you. Ace of Pentacles and then King of Pentacles. The Hangman is here. And Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, yeah, they want to... Um, <laughs> This person, the hangman, seven of pentacles, and queen of cups. They want to have a child with you. They want to build something with you. That's why the empress and ace of wands popped out. This person wants to be intimate with you. This ace of wands could also be childbirth or pregnancy. And then page of wands and queen of pentacles. They want to, they want to be in a commitment with you. This person wants to have children with you. Yeah, they want to invest in this situation. This person is in love with you. They found out you were their equal. Yeah, that's why they want to collaborate with you. And they're distancing themselves from different people. Or this could have been a person that they were in a relationship with. Selling away from things that no longer serve purpose because they want to reconcile with you. Three of Cups is here. Yeah, but they needed to complete a toxic cycle out of confusion. Constant confusion. Yeah, they needed to walk away from a confused mindset. Eight of Cups is here. Toxic people, toxic patterns, toxic behaviors in order to have equal give and take. Yeah, in order to have true love, Ace of Cups is here. It's like they're walking away because they know they deserve true love. Okay, Nine of Swords is here. Somebody is stressed out. They're having sleepless nights, going through tower moments because they got exposed. A lot of people are talking about this person and they're experiencing tower moments. Whoever this three of swords energy is, this was somebody that this person needed to leave out in the cold. They weren't attached to this person's will of fortune, their good luck and their abundance. This person was low vibrational. And they knew about this divine connection, but they were trying to hide this from this person. High priestess is here. They didn't want that person to know, but this person found out yeah, as they were secretly admiring you. Page of Cups is here. This person had hidden emotions for you and they didn't know how to express those emotions. Whoever this person is, they knew, but they tried to confuse this person in some type of way so they would not come towards you. Now they're pissed off and mad because they can't confuse this person. Karmic friend is here. This could have been a karmic friend that was being very sneaky. Yeah, they were envious of the connection. They were envious of this person getting equal give and take. They could have witnessed this person go through a lot of people that were low vibrational or 
in relationships or situationships with people that were very toxic, low vibrational, and there was no equal give and take. So they were envious of this person coming towards you, jealous, because they knew it would be equal give and take. You're someone that works hard, queen of pentacles. This person is someone that works hard. When you guys come together, it's like y'all were built together. Invest in different things that you want out of life together. And you would have a stable foundation with this person. Yeah, this is a this is a karmic friend that was very desperate. They were doing a lot of stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. Now they're experiencing bad karma because karmic justice is being served. This person needs to move on. Yeah, you have powerful ancestors. So it's like this person ended up getting stuck. As they were sitting back possibly watching you, wanting you to feel stuck or that person to feel stuck so y'all wouldn't come in union, they feel stuck and they can't move on as they need to move on, but they can't. Yeah, a gold digger is here. This is someone that they were attached to that was a gold digger. Reconnecting is here. They knew this person would be reconnecting with you. They knew they had hidden emotions for you and they were causing a lot of ma manipulation to have this person on the wrong path. So they could have manipulated this person to have this person um, attach yourself to a gold digger where there was no equal give and take. Just to sabotage that person, they were secretly hating on that person, envious of that person, and they wanted to see that person take a fall. They wanted to see that person stressed out. Yeah. Communication is here. And then blockages. So this person tried to block some type of communication between you and this person. That's how desperate whoever these people were. It was a gold digger and a karmic friend that was trying to create blockages. They don't have anywhere to go. And then you have Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. You've healed. This person was attached to jealous family members. Yeah, they knew you were this person's love interest. You could have went through a transformation. You're someone that used your intuition. And these are people that did not want to work. They don't want to work. So they figured that they would use this person to keep this person attached to them. And they were desperately trying to use this person. Yeah, everything backfired. These are people that were sitting back watching you and they've watched your growth. They've watched you go through a transformation. They've watched you heal. Yeah, after they were warned. These are people that received a warning. Yeah, you've changed. This person could have changed. You've changed. Whatever they were trying to do to burden you, you're still on the right path. These are people that were lustful energies. They wanted this person, this karmic friend wanted this person to be attached to someone that was very lustful. They didn't want this person to have equal give and take. And this is someone that was very needy and codependent. Yeah, but they found out the truth. Your twin finds out the truth and whoever these people are, they're suffering in silence as they're watching you receive good karma. They could have been playing with spell work. Black magic is here. And they thought they would block your blessings, but they have blocked their own. Yeah, you know how to set healthy boundaries. So if these are people that were playing with black magic, like spell work over your finances, different stuff like that, they sat back and they placed this over their self and they didn't know. They wanted to make you look bad or wanted you to feel left out in the cold. They wanted this person to think that you were a karmic and that you were someone that this person needed to leave out in the cold. As this person was watching you, they realized they're around a whole bunch of people that they needed to leave out in the cold and set boundaries with. People that were envious of the connection. Yeah. Yeah. People that were trying to have you and this person in separation. I'm so dumb. I'm going to pull something from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. express your love this person wants to express their love for you go ahead and make the romantic gesture so they're getting ready to express the way they feel to you 
after being in separation. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring help bring you together. So you could have a soulmate as well coming towards you outside of your twin. Yeah, chemistry is here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you have chemistry with this person. And forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, your twin was forgiven and learning. This entire time, y'all have been in separation. They needed to forgive uh, certain people as they were learning lessons. Yeah, separation is here. As you and this person was in separation, they were um, learning lessons. And you also have a soulmate coming towards you. Yeah. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So they need to free their self before even coming towards you. They needed to take control of their own life. They were being manipulated by jealous friends, family members. They were attached to people that were gold diggers that were very needy and codependent. And it was just keeping this person stuck. It was just keeping this person slowed down. So they wouldn't come towards you. Keeping them stressed out. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you have to think positive about whatever you know you want for your love life. Codependency is here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person could have been dealing with some type of codependency issues. They were attached to a lot of people that are very needy and codependent, and that energy rubbed off onto that person. They could have went through financial lacks, finances, and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they were dealing with some type of codependency issues as they were attached to people that were very needy and codependent, and they, they could not manifest anything in a positive way. They were feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this person is getting ready to contact you very soon. And this was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust is here. This person wants to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you, you're guided to take. Yeah, they want to make the effort to come towards you to express the, the way they feel. Yeah, honeymoon is here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they want to get away with you. Honeymoon is here. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person could be the one and you'll be getting to know this person. Get it to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You deserve love. You are lovable. And then true love is here. This is a romance of a lifetime. So what I'm getting is that you have your twin coming towards you. And then you have a soulmate coming towards you. And this person is going to be flirting with you. With this flirt card here. And it's like this is going to happen very soon. So it's like you have to clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. Positive thinking is um positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you have to think positive about whatever it is that you want so that it will come to you. 